Hello and welcome to my review of Uncharted. So I just watched this movie like an hour ago. And this was my most anticipated movie of 2022. I didn't expect it to be the best movie of 2022. But I love Uncharted with all of my heart. And this was the movie I was looking forward to the most. So I played Uncharted for the first time in 2010. My dad just bought us our, uh, our PS3 and uh, our PlayStation 3 and with it he bought Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And I played through that game and I don't, I don't think it's a lie to say I've played through the entire thing at least 50 times. Uh, and since, I, since my very first time playing it, I've been thinking we need to get an Uncharted movie. Uh, so I've been waiting for this movie for 12 years and I'm 18 years old. So I've been waiting for this forever. I, then the third game came out. I think I've played that like 20 to 30 times. Then the Thieves End came out and I played it, I don't know, like 20 times as well. Then I finally got around to the first game. I've played through that like two or three times. And then the Lost Legacy, I think I completed within six hours and then just played it again immediately. And I think I've played that like 10 times now. I love this game franchise. This is my favorite game franchise of all time. I'm not gonna say what my favorite is because a ranking is coming out in a day or two. But I was so looking forward to this movie. And for the most part, I think this works. I'm gonna be completely, completely biased because as I said, I love this game franchise and there are issues with this movie, but it didn't take away from my enjoyment of it. It is 100% entertaining from start to finish. I love this world. I love this concept. Is it generic? Maybe you would say so. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, it's Uncharted. So to me, it's not generic. It's Uncharted. Um, I think Tom Holland is excellent casting for Nathan Drake. And I think he lives up to this boyish version of Nathan Drake perfectly. I was a little bit concerned about Mark Wahlberg. I didn't know if he was going to capture the essence of Sully, but I actually think he's pretty good. I don't think Sophia Ali works at all as Chloe Frazier. She doesn't capture the essence of Chloe. She doesn't feel like Chloe. Like Chloe has this this charm to her, this this sexy charm and she's got the quip, she's got the jokes and and she's just you, you just love Chloe as a character and she is wild and you don't always know what she's about to do, but you know that you can trust her. She is such an incredible and complex character and I don't feel that at all with Sophia Ali's version of Chloe. That was a huge miscasting for me. Also, I think Antonio Banderas is, of course, he's legendary world-class actor and he is incredible i think he is perfect casting for an uncharted villain but he's killed off like halfway through or two-thirds through the movie to let this nadine ross rip-off character like be the main villain and she just has no charisma no like interesting personality at all she didn't shine through whatsoever, and she took away from Antonio Banderas, who was going to be an incredible Uncharted villain. In general, I'm not a fan of this whole reinterpretation of the world. I was looking forward to an Uncharted movie within the Uncharted world. Like, where, where the games have taken place or will take place. Like, that depends on the placement. But this is... A complete reinterpretation and, and re-imagination of the world and the the dynamics and the, the, the relationships. Because a concern I had from the trailer was the fact that this the trailer indicated that this is how Nate and Sully meet up. But they meet up in the third game in Cartagena when Nate is younger than he is in this movie. And then it, that... That wasn't the issue. The issue was the fact that... Uh, it, it was a part of the issue. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. But the issue is the fact that they completely reinterpret it. Where it's like the games haven't really taken place. 
in this movie part of uh, in the, in this movie version of the world. So you get completely different dynamics between the characters where they keep like backstabbing each other in a way that th it just wasn't what I wanted to see from this world. Um, I've got a feeling that if uh, if a, if a sequel is going to come out, which it definitely <laughs> looks like it's gonna, it definitely ends in a way where you think there's going to be a sequel. I think in a in a potential sequel, you've got the Nate Sully. Uh, relationship that I wanted because that's how it ends with them actually trusting each other but I hate that Chloe was this wild card that you never really knew where to place and you knew that she was going to steal those coordinates and you knew she was going to backstab Nate again I didn't like that but it doesn't take away from the fact that I was highly entertained I love the characters even though it wasn't the version of the characters I wanted and just the fact that I've been waiting for this for 12 years years and i gotta say i love 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 the throwbacks and the and the references to the games i could i could list off pretty much every single one of them because i noticed them i noticed them all because i've played these games so much this is in many ways um a, a remake of the fourth game with huge very uh, with with huge creative differences if you can say um but there are a lot of inspiration drawn from the fourth game from a thief's end from the the sequence with just him sailing and and the actual boat where the treasure is found and stuff like that you could clearly feel a thief's end in this story even though it's a young version of nathan drake um and yeah, I just love those references. Every single one of them. My favorite part of this movie is that cameo from Nolan North. I think I think it might just be my favorite cameo of all time. It is so much fun, and I recognized him instantly and almost jumped out of my seat. I recognized the voice, and I was just like, oh my god, this is perfect. This is amazing. I loved seeing him. One more issue I had is the fact that I was missing... A, a, a huge army of goons like that is a main part of an uncharted game is the big shootout scenes where nate just have has to take out like an endless amount of of goons without any like they're just there to be shot and nate doesn't really pick up a gun for like the third the first two thirds of the movie which also bothered me and you're you're you may you might be thinking that Okay, this is a lot of issues. He didn't like this movie, but I did. I really did. And it is because I am very biased towards this franchise. I'm going to give it a 70%. And um, I think if this turns into a franchise, I don't know what's going to happen to the score. It could go up. It could go down. But this is where I'm at right now. I'm going to watch it again tomorrow. Maybe I've got some updated thoughts after that. But I love the references. I loved finally getting an Uncharted movie. I loved the action. I loved the huge set pieces. And I loved the Nolan North cameo. But I didn't like the reinterpretation and the reimagination of the world, the relationships and the dynamics. But a 70% for now. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, this is what I want to do on this channel. I want to see as many movies as I possibly can. I want to bring the reviews to you guys. In like a day or two, I will post a ranking of all the Uncharted villains. If you want to see that, please consider clicking that subscribe button.